Hey guys, over the past few days I worked a bit on getting Raphael's um, UART method to work where these old e-paper price tags are daisy chained via a UART line and each um, display or SOC gets one UART in and uses the TX to drive the next display. This way we only have three wires, just a ground 3.3 volt and the UART wire. And it's getting quite somewhere, only that I now distracted it. It's um, now sending to each display an own image via this ESP32 and just one ESP line. And in a moment we should see it starting here again. This is the last display in the chain. And we can also see here the um, current consumption. And it's quite funny to see it after finishing the update of this display and starting the next one and so on. The current goes down, of course, part by part or display by display. And we will see it in a moment. It is now just sending each display an own image. These are just uh, random numbers by now to have something to display. Each display is now getting around 10 kilobyte of data because we have a red and a black um, buffer. And it's, as you can see, sending to all of them. And here we can see the current slowly dropping. And when the last display is done, we even get down to, let's just do the small view. We have something about 10 microampere for all displays in deep sleep mode, which is quite good and can run on battery for quite some time. If we do not update too often or maybe only update separate displays. And yeah, after 30 seconds, it starts all over again. Developing this is quite a mess because we have to use two displays that are programmable and each display needs five SPI lines plus the UART. And in between all of that is the logic analyzer, analyzer checking the SPI lines to the display and the UART line in between each one. But yeah, it works quite well and each display is maybe taking around um, three or four seconds right now you can see here the black buffer and then the red buffer being transmitted this um, delay in between will be fixed still so it's a second um, faster and yeah just uh, as a short update on what is going on with the yeah, display holder shown in the last video and it may be broken by now after I touched it too much because everything is still just plugged into each other by some yeah, Luthi DuPont wires. But stop right there. There's more to be said, as this is already the next day for me, but not for you. So there's a lot of improvements to show. And yeah, just this as the old. And here is how I develop it. It's one flasher for this display, one flasher for this display. And here's the ESP32 sending via this black UART cable. To the first display oops and then the first display is sending it to the neck and uh, to the second display right here and as you can see it's already refreshing to some text and you can see it's refreshing here to display one and here to display two and if we now look into the logic analyzer which is running for a few minutes you can see that not only is one update only taking about two and a half seconds now. This is the image to one display and this is the image to the second display. You can see here that the UART from the first display only gets received but not sent. 
and on the second it gets received and then it retransmitted transmits it to the second display and you can kind of nicely see here the interrupt for UART doing its thing and here sending uh, the data to the display from display one and it's such a nice thing to see it working that far right now and not only that is possible but also we can just simply update the firmware via UART and even that is possible by a broadcast command so we can simply have like 200 of these displays daisy chained and send one firmware update via the ESP32 and each of these displays will be updated because this wasn't implemented here and I now have to yeah desolder everyone and refresh everyone on its own to have this new firmware which is also possible to update via UART to yeah develop in the future because this is the one shown before with the bad image transmission and so on and it's yeah very nice to see the next step is now to also make it possible to have a custom uh, LUT so lookup table to have partial refreshing or to have faster refreshing and that way these updates don't take like 70 seconds on the display itself so yeah it's running very stable and also the firmware update is running very stable so i'm now yeah re flashing all of these and then it will look nicer on them as well so that should be it for the update and it's yeah a nice end of the evening for today to have it that far have a great day as well